Oh, right. Sorry, I meant. <laughs> yeah. uh, good morning, Galilee Preschool. Um, I miss seeing you as I always do, but I'm glad we're able to connect this way. Welcome to chapel on this Friday. Um, we normally do chapels on Fridays, but this Friday is a little bit different. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. It is Friday, but it's a day when we remember what Jesus has done for us, what he just done for us out of love. And so I want to start by singing a song with you. But this isn't a song where we jump around and we kind of make monkey motions or fish motions. It's not a song where we do mountains and valleys. We talk about how big and strong God is. This is a song called Jesus Loves Me. So if you can at home, I'm going to turn up your TV or your computer, and I want you to sing with me and even ask your mom and dad to sing with me. That would be wonderful. Are you ready? Let's sing. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Well, this morning when we come to chapel, things look a little bit different behind me. If the camera can look, you'll see behind me there are no colors, there's no banners that are hanging. Everything is very bare. All you see is the wooden altar, the wooden pulpit, and the wooden lectern. Because all the banners have all been put away. Last night at our worship service, we took everything out to remind us of what this day is. And this is a, a very sad day because it reminds us what Jesus has done for us. And so I'm going to tell you a story about this sad Friday. And I'm going to scoot a little bit closer to you so you can see my Bible. It's called Sadness. Here you see Jesus, and he's praying, and he's very sad. It was night, and Jesus took his friends with him to a garden. There Jesus prayed, and before, there Judas came and carried out his very mean and bad idea. He led soldiers to the garden, and he showed them where Jesus was. He said, there is Jesus. Now, Jesus knew he would do that. And it was all right with Jesus. Although he was very sad, it was okay. And so Jesus, he went with Judas and the soldiers who had swords and led him away. Now, you see, it was time for Jesus to die. God had planned it long ago. And Jesus knew it would happen. It, he came to take the punishment that we deserved for our sins. He came to do what we could never, ever, ever do ourselves. And now it was time. The soldiers took him to the other leaders. You see, Jesus, they had bound him. And they were leading him, and everyone pointed their fingers at him and were accusing him. We don't like you. We want you to go away. Well, the leaders did not believe that it was God's, that Jesus was God's son. They said, he must die because he calls himself the son of God. Now, we know he's the son of God, but he had to die for you and for me. So they killed him on a cross. And it was a very sad day for Jesus' friends. But they did not know what God had planned. A wonderful surprise for them. And they would not be sad for long. And so on this day that we call the day of sadness, when Jesus went and prayed with his disciples, he knew the time was come. And one of his friends, Judas, brought soldiers to arrest him. And they did. But Jesus said, it's okay. I know this is supposed to happen. 
And all the leaders stood around pointing their fingers and they were so angry at him. They wanted him to go away. They wanted to kill him. And Jesus said, it's okay. I know this has to take place. And Jesus died on the cross. He did it because he knew it was God's timing to save all of us from our sins. And Jesus' friends were very sad. The disciples were very sad. They missed him terribly. But God had planned a huge surprise that was to come. And that surprise is what we celebrate in a couple days on Easter, when we will say, well, that Jesus is risen. And we'll be very, very happy because we know that. Back then, they didn't. And they were very sad. So we take this day we call Friday, a very sad Friday. And we say, it's not sad. It's good. It's good for me, and it's good for you. It's good Friday. It's good because God came down to show us his love, to send his son to suffer and to die on a cross, to die for me and to die for you, so that we would be forgiven, so that we would be brought back into his family, so that we would know that we have a place in heaven. And so that's why we call this Friday Good Friday. Can you say that? Good Friday. Know that it's good because there's, there is a surprise that is coming. And that surprise is Easter. Well, how about let's fold our hands and we'll bow our heads and you can pray with me and you can repeat after me, okay? Dear God, Dear God, thank you, thank you for loving me. For loving me. And sending, Jesus and sending Jesus to die for me. To die for me. Help me. Help me. To listen to you. To listen to you. To follow you. To follow you. For I love you, Jesus. For I love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're gonna close with that same song that we opened with, okay? You heard me sing it, so I want you to sing with me, okay? Here we go. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Now we're going to close our chapel time, as we normally do, by extinguishing the candle. And tonight, if you would like to log on to our website, you can watch our worship service. Because on this day, on this Friday, we remember how our Savior, Jesus, died on the cross. And our service will end in a time of darkness. Because we say the light of the world who has come into the world to save us has now been extinguished on this very sad Friday. But I want you to forget, it's not a sad Friday, it's a good Friday. Because Easter is coming. So I will see you later and have a very good Friday and a happy Easter. Bye-bye.